Hello, good morning. Welcome to the K Farron blog and YouTube channel. Today is day six of my 30 day minimalism challenge. Today is random, bizarre, hodgepodge day. And actually, I think we're going to have a few of those uh, looking at the pile that I have stacked up behind me that I'm not going to show you on video. Um, I've got a number of sort of little things that I've been just finding as I'm going through drawers and I'm like, why are we keeping these things? And so they are things that we will be getting rid of. Um, today is mostly stuff that I have pulled from my kitchen, but there is also some lingering crafty type items that we're going to be getting rid of, as well as one item with some memory attached, some memories attached to it. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, by the way, with today, so as of today, day six of this challenge, the total number of items that I have eliminated at this point is 21, which is pretty cool. We're, we're starting to get to a really good number. Um, I think the final number, once the full 30 days is over, of how many things I will have eliminated from my household comes in at something like 466 or something like that. So it's a, it's a pretty good number of things by the time it's all said and done. And I'm excited to see how that all plays out. So today, let's see, what are some of the things that I've got? So at some point in the past, I had some idea about doing something with clay. And I have this container of Sculpey clay. Um, it is open a little bit. I've got a couple pieces that are out. Um, that are actually pretty dry, so those will probably go in the garbage. But the rest of the clay is actually really soft and perfectly malleable. And um, so I'm planning on, on donating this. I'll put it up on YouTube to see if anybody wants it. And then um, if they don't, I'll, I'll send it off to, um, I don't know, maybe to a, a local thrift store, but maybe I'll reach out. I know a lot of teachers. Maybe I'll reach out and see if any of them have any desire for this in, in a craft department or something along those lines. So that's item number one. How long have I had this? I have no idea. It's been sitting in it. I have um, one sort of box that's my craft box. There's not a lot in it. I don't do a lot of crafts these days. That's one of those things that definitely took a back seat in favor of my writing. So I deprioritized crafting in favor of crafting with words and digitally on my on my laptop. So yeah. Clay is out the door. I also, at some point, I'm sure this was relating to some sort of dinner I did or something along those lines. Um, and this is actually breaking another rule of mine. But I have these sort of, um, I don't really even know what these are called. It's They're like toothpicks, but they're really long for like appetizers and stuff. If you want to put different kinds of, I don't know, bacon wrapped melon or something and, and throw it on, you know, put, put a few of them on the skewer or something. Um, so I don't know how many skewers are in here. I'm not going to count them individually. Of course, this is one bag of skewers. So this is one item. The thing that breaks another one of my rules though. So this is clearly from ages ago, baggy. I don't use these anymore. I don't even have them in the house. I don't ever buy them. They're terrible for the environment. So just say no to the baggy. Um, but yeah, so I'll be getting rid of these skewers. There's, um, they're too small to really use for kebabs. Plus we have metal skewers that we use for the kebabs. So those are perfectly renewable. And um, I just don't really ever foresee needing these. So I'll offer these up as well to if any of my friends or family want it, but otherwise these will be donated. Also somewhere along the line, we managed to pick up some egg rings. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I'm not actually totally sure. I'm actually not positive at all, but I think that's what these are. I can't imagine what else they would be. They were in a kitchen drawer. So at some point we maybe bought something that this was a part of. Um, it may have been a gift and if it was, sorry if, if you're watching this and you're the one who gifted it. Um, but you know, when we make rings, when we make eggs, we just sort of toss them in the pan and what comes out comes out. So we have no need of perfectly round uh, cooked eggs. So we'll be getting rid of that, donating that. I also have some really small 
Um, well, they're not that small and really that's the problem. So some cookie cutters, Let's see if you can see that with the light, it's light is really badly reflecting on that, but they are leaf shape cookie cutters and they're relatively small in terms of cookies. You can see, let's see if I can get any of these out of here. So that's one of the leaves, leaf shapes. There's a number of leaf shapes. I bought these originally, um, you know, as I say on my website, I am an eater of pie. I'm also a baker of pie. I love pie. And I wanted to do some decorative finishes on my pie crust is what I was thinking. And so I bought this. I played with it a couple of times. I failed miserably. I don't really know what the trick is <laughs> to, to doing that. And I feel like um, the leaf, I don't really care for the leaf shapes that much, actually. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and donate this kit. I will probably buy another kit that is a little bit more um, my speed. Um, but for now, this is going to go on the donation pile. Um, the other thing we have is a tiny, teeny, tiny little dog collar. So this actually came from my little pooch, Emma, who's actually sitting next to me right now, keeping me company as I'm working. And um, she is actually a 45 pound dog. So she does not wear this collar anymore. She wears something much larger. But we got her when she was a wee little thing and she came with this little collar. So we've kept it all these years. It just kind of ended up in, um, we have kind of a, a drawer, I guess, for lack of a better word, that is dog stuff. And this just ended up down at the bottom of that drawer. And as I was going through it, I found a number of interesting things that we'll get to in another segment. But um, one of the things also that I found was this. And uh, we don't plan on getting another dog anytime soon. So, and, and we're kind of big dog people, so we probably won't get a dog that fits in this. So we'll be donating this to probably one of our local shelters. And then the last item, let's see, that is six, right? One, two, three, four, five, yes. So the last item was actually a gift from a friend of mine who for many years was a, was just my travel partner. So one of the large, so we went to Hawaii together, we went to Italy together. And on our trip to Italy, it turned out we both were laid off from our technology jobs. Um, this is a reality when you're working in the startup tech fields, which we were doing. So we both ended up laid off. We had a bunch of time on, on our hands and we decided we're going to just, you know, screw it. We're out. We're going to go have an adventure. So we went to Italy. We traveled around for quite some time. I decided to come home and actually start looking for another job, which... I don't know what I was thinking. I was way overly responsible at that point. I totally should have just kept going, but I didn't. I came home and he continued onward and he went to Greece and had really a great time by all reports. And he brought me back um, this pillowcase, which is beautiful. Um, I love the, let's see, how do I, yeah, there we go. I love the design on there. I love the colors. I think it's gorgeous. It is definitely worn. This has been on my sofa for like 20 years now. This was a long time ago when we did this trip. Um, but it's time to get, it's time to donate it and, and take it to the next phase of its life. So this pillow will be going the way of the dinosaurs in my household. So those are my six items today that I'm getting rid of. And again, if, if you're interested in joining me on this journey, please let me know. Give me a shout out on my Facebook Twitter, Instagram, of course, YouTube, on my blog, give me a shout out in any any of those places. If you've got any questions, I'd love to hear from you guys. I will take any questions and I'll talk about it in one of my upcoming videos and uh, or I'll blog about it, one of the two. So yeah, I wish you guys all the best. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.